Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are going to get to know the dagger brush. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about the dagger brush. So in the past year, well up until the past year, I had only really ever used traditional round brushes to paint with. Um, they're always my favorite. It's just something I was familiar with. But this past year, I created some watercolor subscription boxes with Craftimo. And in those subscription boxes, we have featured so many different brush sizes and shapes and one of them is the dagger brush so while the subscription boxes are closed for now they're not available to buy we are selling the brushes in pairs depending on the month of the box that they're in so you can actually get the larger dagger brush now on the craftmo website uh, and today I thought I'd show you how I use a dagger brush because they're actually a lot of fun. They can be a little bit tricky and somewhat frustrating at the beginning, like any new supply can be, but they're actually really fun and pretty versatile. So I wanted to show you how I would paint flowers with these. So here I have my size 10 dagger brush, which is a really nice, fun, uh, larger dagger. And what's great about it is that it's flat, so you can get these really thin lines when you um, just paint with them flat like that. But you can also get these really big thick strokes um, when you put them sideways, and then you can get really fun petal shapes as well, which I'm going to demonstrate. So when you're learning to paint with any new supply, I always recommend that you play around first. Get to know your brushes. And in my tutorials with the subscription boxes, the first thing we do is get to know our brushes. So I suggest, you know, just kind of making marks with them, seeing how thin you can make some lines. Like, look how thin this is. You can paint with just the tip. You can flip it over. Okay. You can use a little bit of pressure, get thicker lines like that. You can turn it on its side and get a really nice thick line so it could be a good wash brush. You can also, you know, do some put the flat side down and do some light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, kind of similar to um a round brush, sorry, my brain. Try it the other way. Just play around with it and see what kind of shapes you can get. You can even like create these kind of like little rectangles or square shapes. So I'm going to show you down here just a little demonstration of how I would create a flower with these brushes. So I'm just going to grab some permanent rows. And one of the ways I like to do it is I put this curved side down and I put the tip down and I just kind of place it down and I move the back around and I get these really cool petal shapes. It's like effortless petals almost. And you're just moving, you're twisting the back around. Okay. And it does take a little bit of practice. I was definitely frustrated when I first began because I'm like, how do you use this brush? But with anything, everything kind of just takes practice, right? But you can get some really nice effortless um, leaves as well. So you just put the curve side down just with the tip of the brush. And then you just kind of, you just move it in like an S shape almost. And then just lift it. So you're just pressing with the tip and moving it and then lifting it up again. I really enjoy this for like longer petals or longer leaves too. So you could do like a tulip leaf. You just kind of do light pressure, heavy pressure, drag it out, twist it a little bit. And you get these nice fun long leaves. They're just a lot of fun to use. You can have them curve and you're just twisting that brush. So much fun. Okay. You're just gonna play around. That's all we're doing today is just playing. Um, I like to create a peony with this brush as well. So creating, doing that petal shape. So curve side down, tip down, and you just move the back around. 
create this kind of initial petal. Then do like a C curve around this side. C curve around this side. And you can always just take the tip of your brush and just draw out whatever shapes you need to. And then I'll just put the flat side down and I'll do these little curves around the top, some smaller lines. Get this like peony shape. I'll do like a petal falling down here. It's just a lot of fun to play with. More curves. And you get this really nice fluffy peony. Okay. So fun. And then we can even just do some regular kind of leaves. Just move it to one side, move it to the other. Super easy. Just kind of play around like that. Like so, let's try the smaller one. The smaller one is a lot of fun too. And in the collection I even have a even smaller one coming out towards the end of the year. Okay. So let's try with this. Actually, let's do some purple. Why not? And the same kind of thing, you can just do these small little petals. Look how beautiful that is. You can do these thin ones too, just kind of like pressing down because you get that curved edge right from that back here. And you can do regular petals. Do little bottoms and you just get like the thinnest lines too because they're just so flat as well and then you can just go from that really thin line to a thick like look at that so fun just by pressing and kind of dragging your your brush I really like doing like twisted kind of leaves where you just drag it and then twist. It's just so much fun to do. But there you go. There's kind of like a little tutorial on how you can use them. So if you ever get a new brush, specifically our dagger brushes from Craftimo, they're available on the website now. Um, I believe the larger one is, you're going to have to wait a little bit for the smaller ones to come out. They're coming out later in the year. We're only releasing them as the boxes are released. Um, but the largest one is available now with, I think, I forget which one it's paired with, um, but they come out monthly. Um, so if you are interested, definitely check out craftimo.com. And just kind of stay tuned because we're releasing new Emma Lefebvre and Craftimo brushes as they come out. And they're just a lot of fun. And we've put a lot of thought in into this collection. So, yeah. So if you guys have any questions or if you have a dagger brush that you love, let us know in the comments below. And I'm planning to do another... Um, introduction to different brushes like our filbert brushes and our flat wash brushes and our cat's tongue brushes so make sure to keep an eye out for that thank you guys so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram and all my other platforms for tons more content i'll see you guys soon bye